Alaska is a place like no other. I got to experience its grandeur and awe-inspiring scale firsthand on a video project for Holland America Line with Bill Fletcher, director of Alaska Marketing for the Cruise Line, as my guide. I recently sat down with Bill to talk about how Holland America brings Alaska and the Yukon to guests. How did Holland America get started in Alaska? Well, Jim, you know, our early history as a company was as a transatlantic steamship company bringing people from Europe to America across the Atlantic. It wasn't until we became the cruise company that we are today, starting in the 1970s, that we really discovered Alaska. And the way you do show people Alaska is unique as well, not just on, on water, but also on land. That's right. Actually, from the earliest days of cruising to Alaska, we've offered guests the chance to combine an overland journey with the cruise experience. And that was right from the start. Absolutely. Alaska is one of those rare places in the world that in order to explore it fully, you really need to combine both the cruise and the overland experience together. And we've been doing that since the first days that we cruised to Alaska. Let's talk about what's so unique about the way Holland America Line introduces guests to Alaska and the Yukon. Well, it has to begin with our legendary onboard experience, the graciousness of our staff and the elegance of our mid-sized ships. That's probably what draws people to our brand first and foremost. But with regard to Alaska specifically, the combination of that impeccable service and elegant environment of our ships is perfectly matched with an overland experience where there are adventure opportunities at every turn literally at every port along the way and in every overnight city that you stay in on the land tour, there are no fewer than 20 different options in each place to customize the experience for every member of a traveling party. So what are some of the things people can do? Well, the choices are really as diverse as our guests, both on the ship and on land. You can choose to take a helicopter dog sledding trip on a glacier, you can river raft in Denali, you can gold pan in Dawson, take a Jeep tour. As you know, you can flight sea. I always recommend that if the weather allows that everybody try to get up in the air at least once during their Alaska vacation. Of course, the thing that transformed the Yukon was the Klondike Gold Rush, right? The Klondike Gold Rush was such an important story for Alaska, not just because it really shifted people's perspective on the place as a frozen wasteland to this place of opportunity, but it also was really the first colonizing event that brought people to the north in large numbers. After the Klondike Gold Rush, even those who didn't find gold, which was the vast majority of those that had gone there looking for it, uh, they fanned out across Alaska and, and established places such as Fairbanks and Nome. Many of the places that we know and visit today were founded in the wake of the Klondike Gold Rush. That's something I'd heard stories about, but until I stood right there where those miners a hundred years ago, more than a hundred years ago, actually lived and worked, it never came to life to me like it did in that moment to actually be there. So gold attracted people to the Yukon all those years ago. What brings them today? I think that the Yukon in general is one of the best kept travel destination secrets in North America, if not the world. This place has got not only the colorful backdrop of this epic event known as the Klondike Gold Rush, but it's also the place where people can see those things that they've always expected to see in Alaska that they may not have the chance to see. The vast unpeopled wilderness, the iconic wildlife, the rich native history of the place is really uh, beyond compare. What do most Holland America guests come to Alaska for? Before they travel, they tell us that they're going to experience the vast wilderness and the majestic mountains, the mountain itself, uh, North America's tallest peak, Mount McKinley, uh, and also Denali National Park in which it resides, tidewater glaciers where there's uh, really no other place in North America to cruise to the face of tidewater glaciers. Uh, Glacier Bay National Park in particular is an unbelievable place to experience glaciers every time you come around another headland there's a glacier spilling into the sea. And finally the iconic wildlife, the big four that we talk about, the moose and the caribou, the grizzly bear and the doll sheep, 
and, uh, and others such as the Alaskan gray wolf are a highlight for people's trips to Alaska as well. If there's one thing that's going to make people want to venture inland, it would have to be Denali, right? Oh, that's absolutely true. We know that from asking our guests that the one thing that will inspire them to combine an Alaska cruise with an overland experience is Denali. So all of our land programs are really built with Denali as the centerpiece. There's so much to see and do at Denali. It's not only home, of course, to North America's tallest peak, but also the park in which it resides, Denali National Park, six million acres larger than the state of Massachusetts, is a playground for both the wildlife and for those who go there seeking adventure and uh, vacation opportunity that they'll never forget. Holland America offers several ways to explore in and around Alaska's most popular destination, Denali National Park. The direct to Denali adventures are for those whose top priority is to maximize their time in Denali before or after their cruise. A direct connection between the ship and Denali allows for more time at the park. And double or even triple night Denali stays allow guests to settle in and truly immerse themselves once they get there. You know, Denali is such a highlight for visitors to Alaska, but there is so much to see and do there. How do people manage their time the best way? Well, our best piece of advice is to start with as much time as you can and dedicate it to Denali. We know that of all the things that motivate people to combine an overland experience with an Alaska cruise, Denali is that centerpiece. And within Denali, there are so many things to see and do that by simply giving yourself more opportunity to fit it in, you're gonna have a much more robust Denali experience. Those desiring a bit more of a leisurely pace will love Holland America's time-tested classic Denali cruise tours. These elegant journeys follow the traditional route visitors have long taken to explore Alaska's interior, with Denali as the centerpiece of their vacation. Guests on these itineraries travel aboard the luxurious domed rail cars of the McKinley Explorer to and from Denali and can stay up to three nights at Denali to fully explore all this breathtaking area has to offer. One of my favorite parts about visiting Denali was actually the trip there. Getting there is such a great experience. I bet you hear that from a lot of people. The McKinley Explorer domed rail cars that you're talking about that we operate between Anchorage and Denali National Park, they really are a highlight for a lot of guests because they surprise people with the comfort and elegance and impeccable service that they expect on board our ships, but they may not expect in the middle of Alaska's wilderness. For those wanting to combine a classic Denali adventure with an off the beaten path experience, Holland America offers two Denali Plus cruise tours. Combine a double Denali itinerary with an overnight stay in Seward on the scenic Kenai Peninsula. Or visit Alieska Resort, Alaska's only five-star hotel. Both of these options provide great base camps for adventure in addition to the classic Denali experience. Bill, what I love about the Yukon is it's a land frozen in time. What are some of the highlights of things that people can do there? Well, besides the Klondike Gold Rush history, which is a compelling story as has ever been told, the vast unpeopled wilderness, I like to call the Yukon uh, the Patagonia of the North. And frankly, the fact that it's uniquely available to Holland America guests in combination with a cruise makes it that perfect complement to the iconic highlights that are available in and around Denali National Park. All of our Yukon programs also include Denali, so there isn't a choice between one or the other, but the unpeopled wilds of the Yukon and the backdrop of the Klondike Gold Rush offers the perfect complement to the Denali experience for our guests. Holland America's cruise and overland adventures to the Yukon and Denali offer guests the unique opportunity to combine Alaska's must-see highlights with the Yukon's seldom-seen wonders. The popular Dawson and Denali series features Denali, the Yukon's spectacular wilderness, and the colorful history of the Klondike Gold Rush, as well as both Anchorage and Fairbanks. Guests can customize their vacation with immersive experiences, such as hiking and biking adventures, rafting, gold panning, 
a fascinating riverboat cruise, or even flight seeing with a landing on Mount McKinley. Time in Anchorage and Fairbanks affords guests the opportunity to explore Alaska's largest cities amid this spectacular place. These comprehensive adventures also feature the choice of a three, four, or seven day cruise of Alaska's Inside Passage. So against that spectacular and historic backdrop, what are some things that people can do? What I love about the Yukon, perhaps more than anything, is that it is really the perfect complement to the Alaska land tour experience. The Alaska experience is really anchored around the Denali visit. And the Denali visit, as incredibly valuable as it is for our guests, in the Yukon, you have the opportunity to experience what we describe as personal wilderness. That being the kind of wilderness that you can go out in a group of six or eight people and go on a hike or on a small adventure tour. It's a very special place, and there's two particularly special places within the Yukon that I like to make sure people know about. One is Tombstone Park, just outside of Dawson City, and the other is Kluwani Park, just outside of Whitehorse. Both of these protected gems offer the opportunity to do things such as river rafting and hiking, fishing, in small groups, again, where you're more likely to see uh, wildlife than you are people. Holland America's Kluwani and Denali cruise tours also feature Denali and the Yukon. But rather than visit the Klondike Gold Rush region, guests follow the famed Alaska Highway between Fairbanks and Whitehorse as it skirts the majestic mountain wilderness of Kluwani National Park. These overland adventures are slightly shorter than the Dawson and Denali series and offer great value in terms of both time and vacation budget. These itineraries also include a three or four day cruise of Alaska's Inside Passage. So what else is unique about Holland America's Yukon experiences? One of the things I love about our Yukon programs is that you have the opportunity to choose between a three, a four, or a seven day cruise in combination with your overland experience that involves both the highlights of Alaska, the must-see highlights, and the seldom seen off the beaten path, really special experiences that the Yukon has to offer. For those guests that choose the three and the four day cruise, you embark or disembark the ship in Skagway. And as you know, Jim, Arriving into or departing from Skagway is a memorable part of the journey in itself because sure it's aboard is. the historic White Pass and Yukon Rail. Do you remember that trip? I remember that very well. That's unforgettable, actually. That train was actually on the National Historic Register because it was built during the Klondike Gold Rush. Ironically, it wasn't completed until the gold rush is over, but it remains a highlight for all of our guests that are embarking or disembarking the ship in Skagway. Guests with limited time to extend their Alaska cruise can now experience some of the Great Land's iconic highlights by adding just one to three days to their cruise vacation. Holland America calls these their sampler cruise tours, a new option for cruise guests to sample just a bit of what Alaska and the Yukon have to offer ashore. Holland America's expedition cruise tours are a bit of a departure from other offerings. These combine a seven-day glacier discovery cruise with unforgettable small group adventures into Alaska's backcountry. Guests on these itineraries explore some of Alaska's most wild and scenic regions in style and comfort, staying at remote wilderness lodges along the way. A Holland America cruise and overland adventure is an ideal way to experience the scale and wild grandeur of Alaska and the Yukon but a seven-day Alaska cruise can be an epic adventure on its own. Whether it's the convenience of Holland America's Alaskan Explorer itinerary from Seattle, or the Alaska Inside Passage and Glacier Discovery cruises from Vancouver and Seward, guests will experience the charm and wonder of Alaska's ports of call. Ketchikan, Sitka, Skagway, and Juneau. Enjoying the elegance and legendary service that defines Holland America Line's signature of excellence. All right, Bill, it's a big place. How much time does a person need to visit Alaska and the Yukon? Well, of course, more time is better. There's a lot to see and it's a big place. Uh, but we always say that the best time to come to Alaska is when you have the time to come at all. If you only have seven days for a cruise, a cruise is a great Alaska vacation in, in and of itself. But if you've got as few as eight or nine or 10 days or more, the opportunities just exponentially multiply. So your Alaska season runs from May through September. When would you recommend that a person go? Gosh, that's a hard question. I get asked that question a lot. 
and I've got favorite things about each phase of our visitor season. I will say that in the spring, the land is waking up from a long winter's rest. You know, it's been dark and cold and covered with snow. There's a lot of animals coming out because it's the first time they've been able to find food in a long time. Uh, the weather can be a bit unpredictable, but if it's beautiful, it's hard to compare with any other time of the year. Uh, the peak season, or the mid-season, is characterized by near endless daylight from about June, middle of June to middle of August. The sun doesn't set. It's daylight literally around the clock. Yeah, see, I don't know if people think about that. They realize that Alaska has the shortest days in the country in the winter. Right. But the flip side of that is they have the longest days yeah. in the summer. In fact, in the farthest southern reaches of Alaska, around the summer solstice from about the middle of June to the middle of August, there's 20 or 22 hours of daylight every single day. And then the fall, the final phase of the season, is perhaps my favorite time of the year because you can just feel the land changing as it's getting ready for winter. The uh, wildlife, again, is more active as they're getting ready for winter. And again, as the season progresses, you get fewer people and the opportunity for some really special uh, Alaska memories. So what should guests bring? What should they wear? That's another great question that I get a lot. Uh, our best advice is to come prepared to dress like an onion, as we say. That just simply means to dress in layers such that throughout the course of a day, the temperature can, especially in the spring and the fall, can swing by 20 degrees or more. You can be standing at the rail of your ship in front of a glacier where it may be 40 degrees with a cool breeze coming off the glacier, and then later that day you might be in a port where it's 70 or 75 degrees. So if you bring a, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a fleece layer, and an outer layer, you'll be ready for anything and you won't have to get completely re redressed as the conditions change throughout the day. Bill, if there's one thing that people need to know about taking a cruise vacation to Alaska and the Yukon, what is it? Well, I'd say that no matter what your expectations are, Alaska is going to exceed them. It's that kind of a place. You know, I discovered Alaska rather by accident, but those that have the intention to come to Alaska will not be disappointed. We have a, an expression in Alaska that says that once you come to visit, you never go all the way home. You'll always take a little bit of Alaska with you wherever you go. Uh, it's because Alaska not only consistently meets people's expectations, but often blows them away. I mean, it's a land of such scale and grandeur that you just can't comprehend it until you experience it. And once you do, you'll never be the same. <laughs>